This episode of My Conversation is sponsored by Michael J. Costa Photography. Visit him online today. And we're back at My Conversation on uh, Channel 53 here in Fresno. And uh, our next guest is very important also. Uh, he's a sponsor of this station. And uh, he goes by the name of Michael J. Costa Photography. How you doing, Michael? I'm doing great, Bernie. How Good are you doing? You. Nice to meet you as well. So, uh, long time you've been doing this all your life? Uh, you know, I got uh, involved in photography a little bit later in life, but probably when I was about 37. Huh. Uh, I went and worked for the uh, Yosemite National Park for a little bit and started, um, you know, being inspired by Ansel Adams and, mm. you know, his little, his environment. Yeah. So that's when I kind of started and I started pursuing my photography then, started going back to school, put myself through uh, school at the Academy of Arts in San Francisco, lived there oh. for about four years and nice. then decided that this is where I wanted to base myself here in California. Yeah. Is it mostly wildlife or? Uh, you know, my photography changes a lot. Um, I do a lot of fine artwork. I have a series which I call Frozen. Huh. Uh, I take nature, I put in water, I freeze it all together, and I create this uh, block of ice. I've been doing it for about 10 years. Wow. It's kind of interesting. I started in a class called Photo Concept and Design. Hmm. So I went from like a C minus to an A <laughs> with that. Uh, with that final, so it kind of worked out. Wow. Yeah. So wh where can people find your, uh, uh, your artwork? You know, uh, I'm located throughout um, California, different areas. Um, here in Fresno, actually, Fresno Art Hub, you can find my work at, it's right off of Van Ness. Oh. Um, I do participate in the uh, Fresno Art Hop as well. Oh. I'm usually there the first Thursday, if I can get over here in time, because I do live in Oakhurst. Mm -hmm. And also you can find my work at Stellar Gallery. Stellar Gallery is located in Oakhurst, California. Oh. So, um, it's a good place to stop on your way to the park. Absolutely. Yeah. While you're going to get inspired, yeah. you know, you can see some other inspiration of, oh. you know, work from other landscape photographers. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, we're talking about uh, uh, all your, how diversified you are, let's say, right? And, right. Uh, uh, other than the wildlife, uh, in, in the, you, that, that you just mentioned you were, you've been working 10 years on that. Uh, final yeah, series. no, this, this series kind of allows me to be creative and I can be at home and be creative. But I also like to uh, venture out and take trips. Um, you know, I have traveled to Italy and Vietnam and Nepal. Um, I'm really, it's important for me to broaden my uh, portfolio. Mm. Um, but I think the landscapes that we have in our own backyard here in, um, you know, Fresno, Yosemite National Park, oh, yeah. you have the Central Coast two hours away, San Francisco, yeah. you know, you're able to just really kind of get your work out there and that's kind of, you know, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to mm -hmm. let people enjoy my work and, you know, they can purchase it and hopefully, you know, uh, give it as a gift or put it in their own home. Yeah. It's a great investment and you get to look at it and enjoy it. Right. It is an interesting investment. You know, art, investing in art has changed over the years. Um, I always say that people will drop 300 to $400 for the new iPhone or the new app. Um, but the quality of collecting art is just as important. You know, uh, you can have something for 25 years mm. and it's never going to change. It's never going to be a different version because yeah. you have that original piece of heart, art. So yeah. um, I think once you become a collector, you know, you really kind of, it's kind of one of those addictions, a little bit of an expensive di addiction, but um, once you start buying artwork and start collecting, you know, you can really have a nice display. And nice. it doesn't have to be cookie cutter, yeah. right? Yeah. How many walls do you have in your house that needs art, folks? Come exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. You know, try something different. Don't yeah. go to Target and buy something. Uh, yeah. Invest. Yeah. And, you know, uh, I think a lot of people... Um, are weary when they walk into galleries. Uh, they don't know the artist. They don't want to drop the thousand dollars or you know or five hundred dollars. Yeah. So what I do is I create something small, like a greeting card. Huh. That way somebody can buy something and they look at my work and they get to know me. They might give it to a friend. That friend might call me later and buy something. <laughs> so it's kind of again networking, you know. Huh. Tell, tell me about this upcoming trip. You're leaving for a... Well, uh, I'm going to Nepal in about three weeks. Uh, I'm doing what is called the Annapurna Trek. Um, I was there last year, but I did the um, first base camp. Mm. And I feel that I have a really good opportunity. So I'm going to walk through the villages and, you know, talk to strangers and <laughs> sit there. And, That's crazy. You know, it's, it is incredible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's great to uh, live outside of your box. 
Uh, there, there's so much diversity and culture in the world yeah. uh, that we really need to experience and yeah. be exposed. I've done a lot of traveling myself, and I love it. I love being feeling like I'm a, a fish out of water. Absolutely. And when you get to some place where they don't speak English, nobody speaks English. It's awesome. Well, you remove yourself. Um, yeah. You know, we don't have very much devices when we go. Yeah. You know, we don't have our cell phones, and we're not right. connecting to our Facebook or anything. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a more of a mental thing for me. But at the same time, I'm you know working on my portfolio. So you're going to be you're going to be taking a lot of pictures. In your Absolutely, as much as they'll let me. You know, when you're on these treks, uh, yeah. the Sherpas are kind of pushing you along. Yeah. Yeah. You want to stop and look at everything, yeah. but... Um, it, it's, it's still very scenic at 14,000 feet. Oh, absolutely. It's not, it doesn't scenic. look like the moon, like the, it does at the top. No, I think what's great yeah. about it is you go through all these villages, and villages of maybe, like, you know, maybe 500 people, and, mm -hmm. you know, kids, you know, hanging out, coming home from school. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really interesting. So how can all of these good people that are watching, you better be watching every day, too. I uh, agree. How can all these good people get a hold of your artwork? Well, if you? you're interested, uh, you can go to my website. It's www.michaeljcostaphotography.com. Um, you can see the, the diversity of my work there. And if you want to have a phone conversation, it's 559-799-9632. Hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Or you can walk into Fresno Art Hub in Fresno, or you can go to Stellar Gallery and look yeah. at my work personally. And people can hire you to take pictures also. Absolutely. Right? I, I do weddings, you know, I've done uh, retirement parties, I've done engagements, I've done anniversaries, uh, I've been hired by corporates, uh, nonprofit groups mm. as well. Yeah. Michael J. Costa, photography. Make sure you use them, call them. Well, Thanks thank a you, lot. Bernie. It's I really, appreciate really it. good to meet yeah, you. Yeah, nice Michael. to talk with you today. Okay, we'll be right back with our third guest. This episode of My Conversation is sponsored by Michael J. Costa Photography. Visit him online today.